Hello, everyone and good evening here. Former President, Chief Aliska Nobisanjo on Sunday said President Muhammadu Buhari has succeeded in deceiving Nigerians for the first time and they would be fools to play into his hand for the second time. He likened Buhari's government to Abaka era, saying the security institutions are being misused to fight all critics and opponents of Buhari. Buhari has succeeded in deceiving us first time and we will be fools to allow ourselves to be deceived the second time, Obis and Joe said in the State of the Nation address titled Points of Concern and Action. Obis and Joe spoke at his penthouse residence inside Eliskan Obis and Joe Presidential Library, Okmosan, Owipl, Abiyagata, Ogun State. The lastest address is coming barely a year Obis and Joe issued a scathing letter where he asked Buhari not to seek re-election in 2019. Buhari for the little he has done and allow him to depart for home in peace if he allows free, fair, peaceful and credible elections. We must also tell ourselves that Nigeria deserves better at this point in time than what Buhari is capable of offering. History will note that he has been here. Nigeria now needs a man with better physical and mental soundness, with an active mind and intellect. Let me say again that Nigeria belongs to all Nigerians and exists for the benefit of all Nigerians and non-Nigerians who desire to live or do business in and with Nigeria. The attitude of it is my turn and I can do what I like with impunity will not last because Nigeria is created by God and it will outlive all evil machinations and designs against the overall interest of Nigeria. Before I conclude, let me assert that the security situation has deteriorated with kidnapping everywhere and Boko Haram more in action and nobody should deceive Nigerians about this. With the teaming up of Boko Haram and Islamic State's West Africa province, Kiswa, Boko Haram is stronger today militarily than they have ever been. Boko Haram has also been empowered by the Nigerian government through payment of ransom of millions of dollars, which each administration disingenuously always denies. With ISIS being liquidated in Iraq and Syria, Africa is now the abroad of concentration. Soon, they may take over Libya which with substantial resources is almost a total failed state. When that happens, all African countries north of Congo River will be unsafe with serious security problems. The struggle will be for all West African, Central African, North African, and most of East African states Nigeria has to play a vanguard role in this struggle as we have much to lose. This administration has reached the end of its wit even in handling all security issues, but particularly Boko Haram issue, partly due to misuse of security apparatus and poor equipment, deployment, coordination and cooperation. Finally, those Nigerians that are being intimidated or threatened by this administration must trust in God and stand firm. Tough times do not last forever, but tough people invariably survive tough times. This is a tough time for almost all Nigerians in different respects. But the people's will shall triumph. All people who have registered to vote with their PVCs must never allow anybody or anything to deny or deprive them 
of the right of performing their fundamental civic duty of voting and sustaining democracy. Establishment of democracy and its sustenance is second to attainment of independence in our political history, leaving out the victory of the Civil War. We shall overcome. Thank you. Thank you.